Hey guys, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Friday, that means we're using Insomnia. And we're trying out the Kakashi Kyle theory, and I'll explain what that is in a second. But uh, yeah, I just need to get this recorded. It's actually recorded the day of. I've been fairly busy. I actually had to interrupt Dragon Ball Z League testing videos. Like, I was like, stop, gotta record Vitamin Y, render it, upload it, have it for you guys, then I can continue. Really? Really? You want another one? Nah, I'm not gonna do you again. I just doed you yesterday. I just told you yesterday, like, you know, give it a week, give it a week, you know. Next thing you know, it has to be like Vitamin Y featuring Gamer Girl at this point, which is actually a guy. So, yeah, had to interrupt that and uh, go ahead and do this for you guys. So, what I mean when we're testing the Kakashi Kyle theory is the Kakashi Kyle theory is pretty much running more Tinker. You're probably like, why would you run more, tink more Tinker? You need... Why would you want, you know, you only need one tinker. The theory is, okay, well, you're ordering for Armageddon. Now, are we going up against Infernities or what? We're going up against another you build deck. I'm going to be like, no, it's going to take forever. <laughs> eh, depends. This is one of the more aggressive you build decks. So, you know, duels that usually take forever with other decks generally don't take as long because sometimes I don't even summon you build. It sounds not terrible. It just takes a little bit of setup. So... The reason why you want to run more Tinker is because the majority of the time, setup includes sending that one Tinker in your deck to the graveyard. Oh, it's Shadals. Ew. I don't want to do it against Shadals. <laughs> okay, so when that's killed, you get to summon another one from your graveyard, but you don't got one in your graveyard right now. Huh. Okay. Oh, I drew right off. And he's probably going to assume that we're getting the mirror match. He probably has that Shadal trap that flips him up and then he sends one. So that's probably what one of the face downs is. I'm going to go ahead and Night Beam. Uh, oh, it's finished, Chen. Let me see. Him. Okay. <sighs> Double finish, Chen. Alright. Oh, fucking right. Like, oh, yay, look, I hit a, <laughs> like, oh, look, I hit a Phoenix Chain. Run into another Phoenix Chain. So, the theory is to run more Dark Tinker, since Tinker takes a while to set up in the graveyard. That's part of the problem, is that, you know, set up a Tinker. You know? So, if you increase the amount of Tinkers you draw, and you draw into Tinker, Doom Shaman can summon Tinker from the hand as well. So, that means that's one less thing that you have to send to the graveyard. So, if you draw, like, for example, this upcoming turn, if I draw into Tinker, that's one less thing I have to send to the graveyard. So, instead of having to send... You know, Doom Shaman and Tinker, all I would have to do is send Tinker, and I would be, you know, totally fine. Of course, you know, with Fiendish Chain, you know, Fiendish Chaining, you know, it's just like Night Beam. Oh, yeah, just heard Fiendish Chain, Fiendish Chain, but fuck, man! Like, I'm not even gonna get to play, am I? And of course, he gets the Foolish. I would love a Foolish right now. I would love Foolish. You know, if you happen to draw into the Tinker, you can always, once again, you drew into the Tinker early game and you're not ready set up. You can go ahead and set the Tinker, and Tinker will go ahead and get its effect. Uh, well, you, need, you didn't say beast effect, but whatever. And you're, of course, you're going to flip up him, Falcon, and Falcon's going to go ahead and summon beast, set beast. You're going to sickle summon the Goyo Guardian, run over my Armageddon. I know what you're going to do. It, it's pretty clear. It's, it's obvious. I'm reading you like a goddamn book. Wow, okay. I guess I was incorrect. You want to do something different. I would have sent her something from the Goyo Guardian, but you want to go ahead and go for Arcanite Magician. Okay. Sure, I guess. What, you're going to fuse from your hand? Yep. Wow, you get neither one of those effects. Awesome, because you can only use one of their effects once per turn. All right, so you're going to go for Midrash, clearly. And I'm going to be taking... No, 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 no. You can only use this effect once per turn and only once that turn. No, no. You already use Beast Effect and you already use Falcon Effect. No, no. Beast 2. So, that. I 
Like, really? If you're gonna place your dolls, play them right. Are you going to shuffle your deck? You going to shuffle? Thank you. God, I'll take the 36. It's fine. Damn, this sucks. It sucks real bad. Like, that Phoenix chain hurt me so bad. Like, if I could get set up with Doom Shaman and Tinker right now, I'd be so happy. But I, that fucking Phoenix chain really fucked me. So, uh, the theory, see, I'm running multiple Tinkers. So, hopefully, crossing my fingers, I draw into one of them. And then I can go ahead and go off. But... So next turn, I can at least summon back Doom Shaman, at least. It's the least I can do, but god. That Phoenix Chain really fucked me. <gasps> the theory worked! The theory worked! <laughs> Alright, so I, I clearly gotta take out the Midrash, like, that's a given. So, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Swing of Memories. Is that okay? Watch his one back row be something to fuck me. If he fucks me this turn, like, if something happens to Doom Shaman right now, at this moment, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Like, it, I had to, I had to scoop it up. But right now, it seems like the theory worked. I increased my odds of drawing Tinker. Alright, so I got my one special summon. What the fuck? Really, really, really don't want to. If I synchro summon, I'm going for Beals. Actually, you know what? Actually, I should go for Void Ogre because I can set my back row. Sure, he can, he's going to go ahead and get his Shadal Fusion back, but I can go ahead and negate it. Hold on, what does Shadal Fusion say? You can only activate one Shadal Fusion per turn, but if I negate it with Void Ogre, then technically never activate it. I can go for Beals. Go ahead and get your effect. 200, it's 200. Go ahead and get your effect. You can target one Shadal Spell or Trap card at your hand. Alright, well it's not mandatory, so I guess I'm not going to inform you that you need to get it. Um, I will use my normal summon for effect. Are you getting it now? Yeah, you're getting it now. It's fine. It's totally too late, but it's fine. I don't care. But I got, I'm gonna have to go for Beals. I'm gonna have to go for Beals. Okay. I'm gonna have to go for Beals. Take our fact because he can still blow me up. And anything that he can fuse into will not be strong enough to get over me right now. Do I need this right now? I would really like a super vice, so. Not right now. Yeah. He can't get over Bill with anything that he can fusion summon into. He can't destroy me with uh, Nephilim or what is his name? Contra con something. Con something. I think it's Contract something that changed his name. They still haven't changed their name on here because I think his name is like Winda now. Like, Midrash sounds hella more badass than Winda. <laughs> yeah, like, I had to take care of the Midrash so I can get that additional special summon. Yeah. So I had to make the deals so Arcanite clearly won't be able to pop me. Because that would be very bad for me if you ended up popping me. Alright, so he's clearly going to plus out the ass. Like, oh, this is bad. Alright, well, Hedgehog, so he'll go ahead and get a Shadal Monster search. And who else? Like, Shadals are definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be tier one. I wish I had Ubel in the graveyard. He's gonna send Dragon. Okay. But I don't have a spell or trap. You could target one spell or trap card in the field and destroy target. So he can destroy one of his own. Sure. 
Let's say, I don't know why you sent that. All right, and you're clearly gonna go for Midrash. Okay. Midrash is fine, I guess. Some puppy, okay. This card is sent to your grave, add it to your deck and then shuffle it. Instead of outstanding dog, you should run a light sworn wolf. This card doesn't net you any advantage besides just going back to the deck. Wolf, on the other hand, would, of course, go ahead and summon. So, Hedgehog, who are you getting? Alright, so, Nephilim. That's fine. So, how would it go? How do we go? Chain. Wouldn't, wouldn't the dog make him miss timing? Because the dog is mandatory and it would go. Or, how would it go? Would it go? Would it go? Hedgehog, Nephilim, dog. So dog would go back. Nephilim would send and then search. Or I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that he he is totally out of frame right now. Wouldn't he search for a dragon? Yeah, he searched for a dragon. Nice, another silent doom. Totally don't mind getting another one of those. Uh, well, clearly, I'm going to go ahead and pop him with Scrap Dragon, most definitely. So, uh, activate Silent Dim. Okay. One thing i got to worry about right now is the back row. Uh, Dragon, I believe, bounces a monster, so he's clearly going to try to bounce me. So, all i got to worry about is the back row right now. Uh, use my normal summon for effect. Effect. Tinker, sink eight. I'm gonna go for scrap dragon. Hopefully this goes off. If not, then we're in deep shit. Scrap dragon. Tinker effect is mandatory. I have to look. Do I want another silent swing of memories? Of course I want it. I want all the swing of memories. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, what are you chaining it to Tinker? Ah, I guess that's fine. <sighs> Fuck. Look at me trying to use you, Bell, against this fucking tier one deck. I just uh, fuck my life. God, this duel is fucking annoying. Uh, well, I probably lose. Trying to think, 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 think. Got it. I 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 pray to God that his other back row is not something to stop me, but I think I might have it. And then he'll be in top deck mode, and he'll top deck, he'll probably beat me. So, uh, I'm activate swing. I got an idea. Got an idea. Oh, fuck. Fucking, oh my God, no, I don't. I don't. Fuck, no, I don't. He scrapped dragon the effect on itself to kill the Nephilim. He will go ahead and get his fucking Shadal fusion back. He'll go ahead and get his Shadal fusion back, right? But he doesn't have many Shadals. I can, I'm gonna use, I can use scrap dragon effect on himself to kill himself. I'm gonna take out these two so they won't get their effect. So all I have is dragon. He'll attack me. So it will be a top decking game. It'll, t it'll literally be a top decking game at that point. So. 
I'll go ahead and kill him. I'll go ahead and kill him. No effect. No, no, no. You only get the effect once per turn. Oh my god. <sighs> Nigga. Look, you can only use one effect or shell effect once per turn and only once that turn. No, 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 no. No. Stop. Stop. No. You only use one. You can only use one effect of Shadow Falcon once per turn, and only once that turn. You already use his effect to summon from the graveyard. You cannot get his flip effect. You, you, my God! Seriously, seriously, you summoned him from grave using his effect from Shadow. Oh my god, Shadal, what the fuck is that card called? Shadal, it's not even called Shadal anything. From Sinister. No, you didn't, you set him, you set him, <laughs> him when you used Sinister. Oh my god. Seriously, this guy! Remember, you used Sinister to flip up your dragon and bounce my bills? That was this turn! That was my turn! Oh my god! Oh my god! See? See? And this is what happens when a deck becomes tier, noobs hop on that dick so hard. <sighs> Scrap effect, target himself, and... Talking himself in meth. So he'll be in top deck mode. Like full on top deck mode. If he top decks into any monster, I'm fucked. I'm praying to God that he doesn't top deck into any monster. I tried my best in this duel, but you know, I'm going up against a tier one deck with my tier Nothing. Tier, tier, I'd say tier maybe three. Go ahead. And I drew fine too. So all he has to do is turn dragon to attack mode. Alright, he didn't top deck into any monster. 300 fucking left. I can set my two cards, go for Void Ogre, Void Ogre, kill, and then when he tries to activate his Shadal thing, I'll negate it. That might be the most optimal play. <sighs> activate Swing. Why am I lagging? Activate Swing. Okay, the fucking back row is really fucking with me. Use my normal summon, uh, summon for effect, effect. You know what would make this duel much easier? If I had supervise. <sighs> okay. Void Ogre. Think for effect. Let me see the top card. Do I want to summon rock right now? Definitely not. Crimson Blood or Order also work too, but I wanted to make sure I blocked his back row just in case he had other back row.
Oh my god, this duel. Uh. Let's summon your fusion first. So he's gonna clearly go for Nephilim. Nephilim is gonna kill me. He's gonna use this to probably bring back. I don't know. Yeah, he's probably got it. He's probably got it. Yeah, you got it. What's my next card? Yeah, you got it. Oh, I tried. I fucking tried. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. So, versus a tier one deck, I tried. I fucking tried. If I got supervised, I would have handled it, but nope. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of episode. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on trying the the Kakashi Kaio theory of running more tinkers, because the more tinkers you have, the more likely you're drawn to them, and then there'll be one less monster that you have to send. If you're drawn to it and you're not ready to set up, you can go ahead and set it. You get killed. It's effective off. You get to see the top card of your deck will help with the consistency of the deck. All right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Wine. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Yvonne Zeckers. Thanks for watching.